how to solve the problem with a runtime broker which is running in the tasks and use a lot of space and uh, CPU. You have to open the file explorer and then you go to the options to, to the settings here and to the settings of the folders. Then you uh, go to the view and to uh, you enable the, uh, the files, the hidden files to view, to be visible. On those here are uh, hidden files and folders. And then you go to the user and from the users you may uh, first I check something you only have to go to the users uh, nothing else to the users and then to the app data local then you will find somewhere the uh, Windows local store where is it? packages no to the packages then to Windows store Microsoft Windows store Then you will find some uh, the local cache layer. Click on the left side to the Windows Store, and then you have the local cache on the right side. And you may here it is. And then rename the local cache to something local cache and back. Once you have done this, uh, the uh, problem with the runtime broker will be uh, after I changed those uh, the local cache from this file uh, from this path Raymond app data local pages Windows Store and something. Then there I changed the local cache uh, renamed it to back and the date. After I've done this. Uh, and came back to the task manager. There is no runtime. Uh, the my c CPU uh, charge dropped down. Now it's uh, big because I'm recording. But my runtime. Where's my runtime? As soon as I made this here, my runtime broker. That's interesting. Before this renaming, my runtime broker was. Uh, about 30% and one gig uh, byte, make by, uh, gig byte. Now it's close to 110. That's nearly nothing. Uh, I'm restarting now the system. I I will check if this uh, the problem still exists.